Hello everybody, I'm DeGroot and welcome back to another episode here on Electronic Idiots of Pokemon Scarlet. Uh, last time we got to meet our class and unfortunately it looks like we're going to have to do some learning. I don't want to do no learning but I guess I have to uh, see. Ooh, I can now move around the school. Alright. Look for people hanging out. Maybe I'll discover something. I'll choose a location and start exploring. Well, I gotta go to the cafeteria first, of course. <laughs> oh, what's going on here? Lots of folks. Welcome. Hope your studies are going okay. What do you have today? Uh, it's more food things that do things. I, I don't know how, how all that works. I've been told there are Pokemon that camouflage themselves as fruit. I believe it. When Rotom enters microwave, it turns into heat Rotom. I heard it even changes type. That is true. Very true. Oh, is this what's his face? V Vernon? I don't know. Arvern. Arvern. Arvin. Arvin. Hi, Arvin. Oh, hey, so we meet again. You remember me, right? Yeah, from the lighthouse. Yeah, exactly. That's my little know-it-all buddy. Got a mind like a steel trap, eh? He just called me a know-it-all? Come on, man! <laughs> Anyways. No need to tell me your name, DeGroot, right? Whole school seems to be talking about you. The new kid has showed up with the president of the student council. Oh, alright. Rumors are getting around. Yeah! He must be super hot. I normally wouldn't even bother showing up for class, but I came all the way to school today just to talk with you, our new celebrity. You've got to help me out so I can finally make my dream a reality. Yeah, sure, why not? What kind of little maniac says yes to something without even knowing what they're agreeing to? Are we going to have like a relationship, like in Stranger Things, between Dustin and, um... Uh, I don't know, the, the hot guy's name. I don't remember his name. I, his brain doesn't recall names very well. Well, this might come as a surprise, but fact is I'm all about that picnic life. Okay. Yeah, sandwiches out in the lawn. Sounds like fun. The great outdoors, the perfectly prepared sandwiches. All of it. There's the sandwiches. Not how bad of cooking either, I could tell you. I assume that's going to be the new camping is picnicking. I liked it in the last game. I like playing with the Pokemon and feeding them and stuff. Right now I'm researching new recipes that'll help Pokemon feel better. Real health food, see? I found this book the other day and it had a section about these Herba Mystica things. Herba Mystica sounds fancy. Basically there's some kind of special herbs that heal up any Pokemon as soon as it eats them. Now there are a total of five different types of Urban Mystica based on what I read. Just talk, just talking a little, wait, taking, not talking, jeez. Frank on. Just taking a little lick of them once they've been powdered will get your blood flowing. I swear to God, po the people that make Pokemon do this on purpose, they make everything sound sexual. Provide nutrients, prevent aging, it'll boost the immune system. <laughs> My mind went somewhere where I could talk about, but I'll just keep it to myself. These herbs seem like they're the real deal. Only found here in Paldea, a rare to boot. Yeah, imagine that, something only available here. But this book says they're all guarded by Titan Pokemon. Titan Pokemon? That's new to me. Meaning that it's going to be pretty tough to try and grab even a few sprigs. You see, Titans are... Well, I think they are got to be like... Things like this. Whoa. Looks like a Dawn fam gone completely mental. Monsters of Area Zero. As we descended further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon. Though we wanted... Wondered if these huge ferocious beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our team suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for a time. Dead. He was dead. 
Mortally wounded. Yes, people die. That happens. A member of the survey team captured this photograph by chance. I noticed a passing resemblance to the Pokemon known as Donphan. Nailed it. Yet differences such as its sheer size and shape of its back set it apart. I do it as due to its great tusks. Okay. So I'm going to have to fight it. I really want to get those herbs for myself, but I'm not very good at Pokemon battles. Don't have any friends with strong Pokemon to lend a hand either. And I'd never hear, never hear, ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> and I'd never hear the end of it if I went crawling to that student council girl. But they, but here you waltz up. Oh. I should really do like brain exercises beforehand. You've got to help me out with this. You'd be perfect. Yeah, sure. I'm all for it. Nope, wait. I don't need an answer yet. I just answered. I'll just register the places where it seems there might be Titans in your map for you. That way I'm not liable for any bad things that happen to you because I didn't officially ask you to do it. I just gave you the information and you did with it what you wanted to do. And if you just happen to get a couple sprigs and want to throw it my way, he's got Flabebe fl on his phone. I just call it. Look at this map! That's definitely Spain. That's crazy. Path of Legends. Okay. Ooh. Something that I saw that I need to do after this conversation has completed. Let us do a bit and we can get more into the details later. And in the meantime, take this. A little gift for listening and all. Ooh, Stardust. Give me some money. Yes, I know what it is. Thank you. Give the idea some serious thought, please. I already told him yes. I don't understand where the disconnect is here. All right, so. So it would be bag. Oh, I got to heal up still. Shoot. Um, somewhere might be in a different menu. Let's see, bag, boxes, okay, portal. Ooh. Oh. I'm about to do that too. Apparently. Uh where is it? Somewhere I saw there was supposed to be some way of changing your outfits. Maybe you had to buy... Oh, that's possible. I probably don't have some package deal. Boxes. Yeah. Options. No. Oh, well. Perhaps later we'll figure it out. So, I think we're done here. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Hello, this is the group speaking. Yes? I hacked your smartphone so I could talk to you. Hope you don't mind. I'm sorry? Who are you? My name's... Is that a lady name? I don't know. We'll just roll with this for now. We can always change. My name's Cassiopeia, but never mind that. It's you I want to talk about. I hear you're a trainer with serious potential. If the description is accurate, there's something I'd like to ask of you. Tell me, DeGroot. You know about Team Star, right? Yeah, I whooped their butts earlier. <laughs> Great, I appreciate you being up front here. Team Star is a group of troublemakers formed by some academy students a while back. They cause headaches for the school and try to bring other students down to their level. But it's difficult to get your head up your butt that far. And I refuse to sit idly by and let them get away with it. So I've come up with a plan to bring down Team Star and force them to disband for good. Oh, this is a good person. Only I'm, hang on. There we go. I call it Operation Starfall. But I'll need allies to carry this operation. And I'd like you to be one of them. Sure, why not? I think they're kind of a-holes, so, you know. <laughs> why does everybody keep asking me and then I say yes and then they're like, no need to reply this second. We could discuss the details some other time. 
till then, I'll leave it to you. Bye. I, I'm saying yes to people, and they're just like... Oh. Hello, Clavo. Oh, Mr. DeGroot. Blah, 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 blah. Please do try to keep your voice down if you make it cause within the school, won't you? Uh, I'll be more careful, sir. Apologies. You don't want anyone else overhearing any personal information, after all. Honestly, there are so many things we need to be careful about this day and age. On you go, then, young man. I bet he's the leader of the bad people. Team Star, you say? Oh, maybe not. He might be a good guy. We'll find out. There's always one character who's like, oh, I'm secretly an a-hole. Ha ha ha. At the end of it all. Okay, so we did that. Seriously, why am I not able to change my clothes? <laughs> it's really bugging me. I want to change my clothes. What's this? What's this? Where do I want to go? Uh, staff room. Might as well go do the exclamation points. I assume those are plot lines. Oh my. Well, look at her hair. It looks like Rhodes. Ah, oh, it's my girlfriend. I mean, fellow student. Holy crap, Ola! Look at the amount of hair on that chicken. Look at those eyes, they're huge! Ah, uh, I can't. I, I, I'm gonna guess she's supposed to be like Indian, but I'm not gonna do the voice. I'll, I'll give her a British Indian. Very well, Champion Nimona. Nimona, I trust you to handle this in my stead. Sure thing, you can count on me. In fact, I bet this is gonna be fun. I'm glad to hear it. Good day then. Hello, your hair's crazy. Oh, pardon me. Why is where their hair? It's like Medusa and stuff, man. That's crazy. Oh, DeGroot, hey. Who is that? I should have said she looked awesome, but... Peach, your interest, huh? That lady is... Well, they call her La Primera. She's strong. She can do pretty much anything. She's got cool... Practically coming out of her ears. Is that what that stuff is? I thought it was hair. She's basically everything I want to be. Or that any Pokemon trainer would want to be, really. Oh, which reminds me. Remember in Homeroom when I asked what your dream is? Uh-huh. Well, since your heart's already set on becoming a really strong trainer, I've got an idea for you. You should try to reach champion rank like me. Heck yeah! I will! Oh, well, hang on, though. I've got a whole spiel I want to give you. Here goes. I wish people would just take me on my word when I say yes. And then they're like, no, okay, I know you've already said yes, but here, let me sell you on the idea more. Let's move on! Oh, well. <sighs> the trainers who reach champion rank are the ones who raise their Pokemon really strong. They're pro-tier battlers. Their moves keep crowds absolutely on edge of their seats. Ah. You have to prove yourself to the Pokemon lead to officially get the title of champion. Okay. And to do that, you have to do more than just take classes here. You gotta take on eight Pokemon gyms. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. And gym badges. Yep. Once you've done all that, all that's left is a special test the champion assessment. Oh. Well, you don't. Once you pass that, then as long as. Uh, well, then as long as you be a champion. Wait, I don't have to fight anybody? I just am a champion? It's like. Yeah, you're a champion. You're a champion. She's a champion. He's a champion. They're a champion. That squirrel, two-time. Two-time champion. That's twice. I don't know. It's every Pokemon trainer's dream, the coolest title anyone ever could hope for. Not to brag or anything. <laughs> I reached champion rank during our last treasure hunt, you know. Oh, the treasure hunt is a special independent study thing we've got here. Should happen soon. Our last one started not long after the beginning of the school year. It's great! You get to leave school to go have an adventure and learn how, yeah, however you want. I was on the right track, I just didn't have faith in myself. I guess you could say my journey to becoming a champion was the treasure I found, maybe. <laughs> I don't know yet if that's the answer I'm looking for. I need to work on my jokes. 
Meanwhile, who's that over there? <laughs> anyway, I've got a feeling I'd be able to get an even... Oh, man. Come on. All right. Anyway, I've got a feeling I'd be able to get even stronger if you and I were both working at it. There we go. I believed in myself when I got the sentence that time. Let me go ahead and save the gym's locations in your map app in case you decide to go for it. So are they... I wonder... Because it's supposed to be open world. You can go anywhere you want. I wonder if each gym adjusts to your level. I mean, that has to be it, right? Oh ho! Victory Road! Yep, that makes sense. Give it some thought. Okay, I will. There's a lot of people here with interesting looks. Call the Master Degree to the Director's Office, please. What? I've been called the office already? Once again, Master Degree to the Director's Office, please. Riolu, shush! Um, I want to talk to her first. She looks pretty cute. Take your time out of your day to attempt to converse with me? You must be absolutely mad! Fine, I'll talk to the old lady. Jeez. Hi, old lady. Hello, Degroot. Feel free to come ask me questions anytime. Thanks. At least you're nice. Who's this guy? Weird hair, bro. Whoa, thanks for coming to say bonjour. Is he Salvatore? Is he French? I don't know. I apparently have to go to the director's office. <laughs> I'm in trouble. I didn't do it. I swear. Somebody else put gum in her hair. What did I do? I didn't do anything. I swear it. Uh... Oh, oh, oh. oh, thank you for coming, Master Tegroot. Uh, have you been enjoying your time here at Naranya Academy? Sure. It's great. This is most wonderful to hear. Now, you may be wondering why we could not have simply conversed earlier in the cafeteria. But let me assure you, there is a reason why I asked you to meet me here in my office. Ooh, super secret meeting time. It seems that a friend of mine has a rather serious matter that, that they would like to discuss with you. Oh? <laughs> huh? Where? Are they here? Ah, oh, my character's dumb. Oh, no, I'm afraid they aren't actually here in this room with us. Oh, one moment, please. Just allow me to connect us. Okay. Ooh. Well, I'm looking at a TV with a... <laughs> Hello. I swear, that's not the reason I chose this version. It's just the 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 my name is Professor Seda. I carry out Pokemon research within the Great Crater of Paldea. I know she's probably married. I know. Because if you play the other version, I think the same character says, Ah, that's my dad. So, naturally, those two are married, and that's their kid. <sighs> my dreams are shattered, as always. Anyways, let's see. At the site, area zero. I like the cave woman motif she's got going. There's a giant hole in the ground, and you're researching it. Got it. The professor is, in fact, a graduate of our fine academy, as well as a splendid researcher. All right. Well, allow me to get straight to the point. Degroot student ID number 805C393. You are the student who travels with the unusual Pokemon Koraiden, is that correct? I uh, yeah. Interesting that everybody knows that. Thank you. I appreciate that you are honest in confirming the facts. Now give it back, you thieving little bastard. Oh, he gave it to me. 
Ah, not that I... I do not mean to offend you. In fact, I wish to ask for your assistance. Uh, assistance? All right. You must have heard Mama's name. Oh, how good to see that you are well. It has been quite a while since we last met. <laughs> Karida was once in my care, you see. I figured that. I can... Boop. Dots were connected. Its Pokeball was also originally mine. I assume you received it from a young man called Arvin. Mm, yeah. Um, I am no longer in any p position to be able to manage that Pokemon myself. This is what I would ask of you. Will you continue looking after Koridon on my behalf? Yes. I do appreciate your agreement. Uh, I can make her more friendly, probably. I do appreciate your agreement. Oh. Koridon was... Ah, Karate has been greatly weakened and is currently incapable of battle. It can, however, take on any any forms. Uh, it can, however, take on a form specialized for mobility. In all likelihood, it will require some time to fully regain the capabilities it once had. Ah, that's how that. I was like, why can't I use them in a battle yet? Probably they want to save it to your. For the long story, I will provide you with my contact information. Digits! If you would please get out your phone. Heck yeah. <laughs> I will be in regular contact going forward to keep tabs on your status. Alright. <laughs> Call me. <laughs> Until then. So like I want, I mean I'll probably find out later, but I assume the other guys around. You just don't correspond with them, maybe. Anyways, could this Pokemon? Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice is kind of weird there for a second. Uh, could this Pokemon have its origins within Area Zero? Hmm. Seda, don't tell me you actually did it. Did what? I hate when people do plot devices with no context. Well, it seems that the professor is quite, uh, asking quite the favor of you. But of course, the Academy is always here to support you in any way that we are able. I do hope you'll continue to enjoy your school life together with your Coridon. Coride on. <laughs> Get it. Alright. Um, hey, what's that? Can I have this? Shiny rock? Shiny rock! Give me shiny rock! What's on the board? Ah, uh, gibberish. Is there lore? There's no lore. Hey, what's over here? Ooh! Can I have these? Give me. Uh-oh. Hello! Excuse me! Oh, you're still here, Degrude? Oof! Getting called into the director's office? How'd you land in that much trouble already? <laughs> Anyways. Nah, kidding. I know it wasn't like that. Whoosh. What's with this dramatic spin? Mr. Jacques wanted me to show you the way to our room in the school dorms. Your very own private room, DeGroote. Let's go check it out. My dorm room. Uh, dorm life. That was fun. Living with people and smelling what they smell like at all times. And, and then the joy the, of them leaving school and you getting the room to yourself. Oh, <laughs> that was so great. <laughs> Ta -ta -ta -ta! I guess that's what she did. For today on, this is your room, DeGroot. Wow. Wow. That's that's actually really nice, I have to say, as far as dorms are concerned. Like, it, th that's twice as big as my dorm room was, and it was me and one other guy. Hm. Actually, it's as new to me as it is you. Never been in here before. And she immediately looks at the bed. Come on! Stop it! Pokemon! Maybe check out your new bed? Wink, 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 wink. Maybe I can check it out with you? He's like, ah, oh, come on! It's a kid's game! These guys, their heads are in the gutter. Looks comfy. <laughs> and you must be pretty worn out from all this. Stuff happening on your very first day, huh? Uh, that was a good sentence with it. Uh, oh, well. A quick rest, a quick snooze on a bed is all you need to get yourself and your Pokemon healthy again. I'll see you tomorrow when you've rested up. 
Then we could have a battle. Woohoo, take care. Battle even more. Yeah, I know, I read it wrong. Give me a break, alright? So I have a I have a desk. I have my own little kitchen. Oh look at my mini fridge. Is there a rotom in there? Got a hot plate. That's nice, because you know you gotta make lots of ramen. Huh. Yeah. And then here's my desk. Oh ho! And a light. Oh, here's where I put my clothes. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, I was really hoping I was going to be able to change my clothes. Dude, I have a closet. Oh, that's my bathroom. <laughs> that makes sense. Sorry, didn't. That's another thing. It's like communal bathrooms in dorms. That's new to me. That's why I didn't recognize. Wow. Okay. I guess plot line is go to sleep. Therefore, we shall go to sleep. Am I going to have a dream? Ooh. Days quickly fly by after you start your new life at Naranya Academy. And then at last the day arrives for your true adventure to begin. Okay, so we move forward in time. That's interesting. Man, that was a long nap. Jeez. So, uh, six months of sleeping. Whew. Attention all students, today's marks, uh, today marks the beginning of an important new assignment. Please assemble in the schoolyard where I will, oh, that's probably Clavo. Please assemble in the schoolyard where I will explain in more detail. Bing bong ding dong ding dong bong, bing bong dong, bong bing dong. Hey, just invite yourself in. It's time! Are we going to have a UFC fight? I've been waiting forever for this. Come on, let's go out to the schoolyard. All right. Still got these crappy shorts. Do, do I talk to you? Yeah. I just go to the door. All right. Schoolyard. I only have one option. I wanted to go to the cafeteria first. Dang it. Oh, there's a Excellent, it seems everyone is here. Well, then it's time that I explain your independent study assignment. As usual, the theme will be a treasure hunt. Hadouken! I ask each of you to set out and travel the world in search of your very own treasure. Ah, we're going on a treasure hunt. That's very good. You have all learned much within the walls of our fine academy. Who's she? <laughs> But it's now time you turn your eyes upon the wider world and deepen your understanding. Explore Paltia's abundant nature. Soak in its rich culture. Ooh, Slowpoke. What are those? Discover the Pokemon that live here. I, uh, it's too much to see. And get to know the people, too. I don't really care about those. Where will you travel? And what will you meet? Who will you meet? And what will you achieve? Of course, your Pokemon partners will be there to help you. You will journey together. Learn new things together. Share each other's thoughts and feelings. And find something you might always treasure. Treasure! Ah. I look forward to welcoming you all back after your independent study. Would you return to us as fine young trainers? Now get the hell out of here. I'm tired of looking at you. Let the treasure hunt begin! Hey, crotchety old man. Uh oh, it's raining. I don't have an umbrella. What is that thing? Tomoya, it's time for the great outdoors. Come on, Cyclazar. Okay, that's a Cyclazar that she mentioned earlier. What the heck? We're riding up. It's really cool. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds like he's uh, got uh, electric power. Take care, everyone, and remember the great crater of Paltia is exceedingly dangerous, so you should totally go there. Entering it is in violation of school rules. But now I want to go even more. Why'd you tell me? 
What are you waiting for, Groot? Let's go! Okay. Well, I must say, it's still raining. Ah, uh, great. Hey, you got a rock rough. And, uh, and, yeah. You look depressed. Okay, so... I suppose it just means that we get to go wherever we want now? In theory? I don't know. Uh, let's put you up front just in case she wants to battle again. She might start with the grass. Sprigatito! To group, to group! Yes? The treasure hunt, it's finally starting! Uh, where are we supposed to do? Or what are we supposed to do? Yeah, fair question. Since it's your first time, come on, let's walk and talk. Ah, uh, it might be dangerous. I don't know. I might trip. Down the very long stairs. Ah, I'm still falling. Why? The treasure hunt is a huge part of the Naranya Academy school year. The point isn't to get us all looking for some actual hidden treasure, necessarily. We're more just making our own adventures to see what experiences Padilla has got to offer. It's happy music. You could try to beat Pokemon gyms. You could help out people in need. You could hunt for real capital T treasure if you wanted, even. Uh, there's stuff we never learned. Uh, there's stuff we never learned sitting in a classroom, you know. This is our chance to learn it. Plus, there's so many chances to battle, which is obviously perfect for me. You and me for sure got to battle if we run into each other out there. Hope you're ready. Oh, you know it, girl. I'm going to be ready. I'm going to bring the hammer down on you. Oh, yeah, battling can wait. I meant to tell you. Did you know your phone's map app lets you set yourself destinations? Makes sense. I figured that. I just, you know, hadn't been unlocked yet. You could try setting one of the gyms as your destination. That'd get you on your way easy. <laughs> How's that for a student council president? Giving your own friends an insider advantage? Uh, Arvin! Insider advantage? Sheesh, you make it sound like we're cheating or something. All I did was suggest that he check out the gyms. It's up to DeGroote whether he goes. DeGroote's gonna have his hands full searching out Titan Pokemon with me. He doesn't have time to waste on something like chasing after the champion rank. Uh oh. They're fighting over me. I feel so special. Me and him are going to be too busy visiting the lairs of titans and nabbing their Herba Mystica. In Serio? Toko filling his head with weird stories. Hey, all I did was invite him along. These two are definitely giving me vibes that they're going to hook up one day. It's still up to the group whether it goes, right? Uh, see, they hate each other now. At the end of the movie, they'll fall in love. Get married, have some babies. Hmm. Degroot, your phone's ringing. Huh? Oh, right. What? Oh, God. Hey, Degroot. Oh, hey, Degroot. Cassiopeia here. It's about Operation Starfall. Remember what I told you before? Team Star's made up of five individual squads, and each one's got their own base. I need you to go to each base, all five of them, and beat the squad boss there. Team Star's grunts might try to get in your way, but I'll be helping you out from a distance. And heads up, the bosses each specialize in a different Pokemon type. Just remember the names of their crews and you'll figure it out. Still, no need to worry. With your skills, I'm sure you're more than up to the test. I literally have had three battles. <laughs> Everybody's painting me as a prodigy. I'll just go ahead and add their bases locations to your phone for you. Thanks, mysterious person. Oh, wow. Ooh. <laughs> I like her. Bottom right. The Team Star base has been added to your map. App. Map app. Starfall Street. Alright. So we got a lot of different options. 
Good luck with those bosses, and I'll hook you up with some nice rewards every time you beat one. I'm like a um, secret agent or something. Wait one second, who are you supposed to be? At Team Star, those punks are serious hazard. They're not the Groot's problem. That's right, because he's got more important things to do, like searching out awesome ingredients with me. I'm definitely leaning away from your dude, your your mission guy. Just sorry. I thought it was up to the group to decide whether he goes or not. Wasn't that what you said, Namora and Arvin? You're listening to our conversation. Blah. How do you know my? I'm looking forward to seeing what you could pull off, the group. Bye. Cassiopeia is secretly Team Rocket. Just throwing out an idea. What was that all about? Takrut, I'm glad you're making plenty of friends here, but try not to get dragged into anything dangerous. Anyway, no more weird fights. We've got a big adventure to start. I'm gonna battle every single Pokemon trainer I meet. If I keep trying to become the strongest, I bet the experience will be the thing I treasure. Guess I'll start by heading to a gym and training up some new Pokemon. Here, I'll send you a pic of what the gym building looks like. Kind of basic. Looks like a water type, maybe. Looks like a boat, so. Sailboat, water, yeah. I feel like it's a fair assessment. Oh, and I know we've been running our mouths, but it's your call what to do, DeGroot. Go where you want and do what it is you really want to do the most. That's a lot of pressure. It's kind of interesting. It's like, I don't have a linear path. I just kind of go wherever I want. A treasure of your very own. For me, that's got to be my, er, my big dream of tracking down the Herba Mystica, that is. Was he going to say mom's approval? <laughs> Spelled differently, I know. Once we get those herbs, I'll make you the absolute best sandwich you've had in your life. Oh, now he's speaking my language. You're swaying me to your side of things. <laughs> You're good. Hey, Koraiden, what's up, buddy? Uh, what'd you come out for? Man, he really doesn't like him. Oh my gosh, did you just come out because you... <laughs> did it just come out because you said sandwich? <laughs> well, you're not getting one. You have my permission to bite him. It seems like he wants to start moving. Oh, blah, blah, blah. rewind. It seems like he wants to start moving. Is it telling you to get on to Groot? Ooh, do I get to ride? Yeah! All right, when you're on his back, you can press the B button to have a jump, all right. Oh man, my neck. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, and that makes sense. Kind of like the bicycle, so bam. Let's roll, bro. Oh, his little blue things are like handlebars. Nice. Vroom, 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 vroom. Whoa, it transformed. Now it really looks like some kind of weird cyclist are. Long as you got Koraiden, you could go pretty much anywhere. Paldia is your cloister. Ah, cloister. You think they eat cloisters and uh, shelters? I mean, come on. It's got to be, right? Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Well, if you're going to search for those Titan Pokemon, I'd say sit out from the East Gate. East Gate, right. But since DeGroot is actually heading to take on some gyms, I'd say go for the West Gate. West Gate, okay. Besides, it's way too easy to get lost out East. Man, this is why I can't get along with you. I'm out of here. Catch up soon, little buddy. Little buddy. I'll head to a gym. See you around, DeGroot. Oh man, mom and dad are fighting. Now I have to pick which one I'm gonna live with. I hate this. The treasure hunt has finally begun. This special event is held by the Academy to encourage students to set out on their own and learn for themselves. You're free to decide whether you want to go, where you want to go, as you search for treasure all your own. I still don't know what these classes are. There are mass outbreaks occurring. Woohoo! I'm a jump. Woohoo! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! 
Ah, oh, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. All right, so I'm curious about these classes. So let's check out the history class. I think that's what it was, right? I, curiosity, all right? It's curiosity. I don't want to do school learning. I want to learn on the street. Okay, do I talk to you? Oh, okay, yes. I guess I landed on that one. Uh, good morning, Master DeGroot. What class would you like to take? I would like to try history, please. Miss Rayfort? Yes, I don't know who that is, but, uh... Okay. <laughs> Let's see what we got. <gasps> it's her! Miss... Oh, -ho, I see we have some new students here with us today. It's a Hisuian Pokeball! Nice! Ha ha ha! My name is Ryford. I will be the one to impart knowledge of the past into your little minds. Ooh, she sounds like she's mean. I mean, we already kind of got that vibe before, but getting it confirmed. History is a wonderful thing, truly splendid. The lives of our ancestors throughout history forge the path to the present in which we live. Today, her hair is freaking out over there. Today, stop! Today you shall learn about the most mysterious location in all of Paldea, the Great Crater. As you are all aware, a massive crater known as the Great Crater Paldea exists in the heart of our region. The area inside the crater is called Area Zero, and research of its geological strata and material composition has shown that the crater is in fact over one million years old. Whoa. I'm half a teacher. I, that's probably going to happen a lot. I'm just going to tell you right now. It was long believed that a certain something rested at the bottom of the mysterious crater. A certain something? Aha, uh -huh, perfect timing to make eye contact, Yundergroot. Oh, God. <laughs> I was wasn't looking at your eyes. Answer me this. What exactly was believed to rest in the depths of the great crater inside Area Zero? Treasure. That is correct. You are a surprisingly clever one, aren't you? I see you did your homework prior to coming to my class. I guessed. That's right, some believe that a... I mean, given the options, it was pretty obvious. Some believe that a treasure more valuable than anything else in the world rested in the depths of the Great Crater. Or maybe it's Deoxys. They wrote a... comet or meteor into Earth. So much of our... Uh, so much for dreams of treasure hunting, though, as a lab has been built in those same depths. <laughs> oh, and before I forget, you would all do well to remember that the Great Crater and Area Zero are both off-limits to all but those who are of official business there. Do not dare to entertain foolish notion of gallivanting off in, to Area Zero in search of riches. It is no place for children dreaming of treasure and adventure. So is she a Native American vibe? Is that what we're going with? Lavington! Hi, everybody! Look, I'm famous on the screen! Good to see you! Sorry, I just saw him for the first time and it blew my mind. Besides, if it were at all possible to investigate the area, I would surely do the uh, be the first to do so. Oh, is that the time already? I must have gotten swept up and filling your minds with knowledge. Ba da 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 da. This ends today's lessons. We won't have more. Blah da da. So on and so forth. Okay, so it's not like a, an event or anything. It looks like it's just you get some backstory and lore for everything. So that's exciting. Uh, all right. So that's stuff. I'm. Uh, I could go through everything on screen. Uh, but let's let's go out. Let's go see what's going on. And plus, yeah. Can you run? Probably not. Chia. Fwa. Is that a Pokemon Center? Why? What is over? The, what is?
Pokemon materials? If I gather up the materials, drop my Pokemon, trade in for LP, I can buy it. Oh, okay, so that's how I get LP. Nice. I say, Oh, there's a Pokemon Center over here. Nice. There's something I wanted to do real quick. Oh, uh, no. I think I'm on the wrong side. Ah! Or am I? No? Oh, 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 oh. Hang on. That's why. Wait for it. Okay, now. There was a thing. No? How do I get to... Oh, wait, 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 one second. Picnic. Okay, that's cool. That's different. So that's probably the camping thing. Let's go to the Poke Portal, now that I'm online. This was the thing I was, uh, oh, oh there are surprise trades. Yes, okay, that's cool. But, from what I understand... Flying Terra type Pikachu gift. Nice. We get a free Pikachu. If you haven't got yours already, go get it. Oh, this music's cute. Pika P. Hi, Pikachu. All right. When it is angered, it immediately discharges the energy stored in pouches in its cheeks. All right, we didn't even have to evolve the Pichu. Cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Well, that's pretty cool. Battle Stadium. That sounds exciting. Link Battle. Yep. Surprise trade. Uh, you know, maybe. Might do that. Terror Raid Battle. I don't think I'm ready for that. I'm still looking for it. Adventure guide, maybe? No, that's not it. Oh boy, I swear. Maybe you actually, actually have to have clothes in your possession to change them. Anyway. Moving on. Hello. Uh-huh. Yeah, they're definitely two different sizes. No, I'm good. Thanks. That's exciting, though. I, you can tell me how big my Pokemon is. Coriden, ho! All right. Well, actually, let's go ahead and end today's episode there, shall we? Before we go out into the world, uh, and we'll do so by hit the save button. So anyways, thank you so much for joining me for this episode. Uh, we moved along with a little bit of the storyline here. And we got lots of choices to make here, uh, deciding where we want to go. So we'll be making that in the next episode. And hopefully you'll join me for that one. If you haven't, hit the like button. Do that. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do so as well. Help the channel grow. And uh, that way you'll be notified for new episodes that come along. Uh, try to pump these out as fast as I can get this game done as fast as possible uh, And then uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do All right, so anyway, thank you again for joining me and hopefully I'll see you next time and until then I will see you later. Bye guys. Bye